Woo. Hey, everybody. Thank you for stopping by. I've got a very special episode for you today. If you have been looking into the EXP model, you're going to want to stick around and make sure you watch this entire video. I have got an incredibly special guest, my business partner, my friend, my mentor, Mike Sherrard, who's going to join us today to talk about why top producing agents are joining EXP and thriving. Mike's going to break down the model for you. He's going to basically put to rest a lot of misconceptions out there in the marketplace about EXP. He's going to talk to you about why top producing agents are producing massive wealth with EXP, generating more income by doing the same amount of work with the model and by leveraging the model properly, how he is saving time, energy, attention, and money by leveraging the model properly. Now, Mike was named a top 30 realtor in the country within his first 10 months. If you don't already know Mike Sherrard, you're going to want to stick around because this is going to be an incredible episode. Stay tuned. All right. Hey, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. As I mentioned in this one, I've got a real special episode for you. I've got my mentor, my coach, my business partner, and my uh Good friend of mine, Mike Sherrard on the line here. Mike is a top producer who made the decision after almost a two year period to ultimately join EXP. Mike's had an incredible journey with EXP thus far. We're doing a lot of great things with the Agent Wolf Pack, which Mike founded along with my partner, Connor Steinbrook. And what I wanna do in this interview, Mike, if you're open to it, is just spitball a couple things back and forth, ask you some questions in regards to why top producing agents, not just new agents, now what we're seeing with brokers, with team leaders, but individual top producing agents, why they're ultimately making the decision to come on board with EXP. Yeah, man, I'm super excited to be here. It's fun to, after all these years of knowing each other, finally be in partnership where we can help each other win. And I think that's what we're doing at this team is we're doing things a cut above the rest. And that's always what I like to align myself with is people that are running hard, people that understand things the right way, and people that are thinking outside the box. So I think we've got an incredible team having people like yourself and a couple others that are in our group that are really kind of pushing the limits is making it a really exciting kind of invigorating place to be. So I'm excited for this chat. I think it's going to be a good one. Yeah, me too, Mike. And I guess I'm putting myself in the shoes of an agent. You know, I'm having a ton of conversations now, just like we all are around the country and hopefully here soon around the globe with agents that are top producing, They've been in the industry for a couple of years. You know, they basically pass that attrition period or whatever it is, two, four years for an agent that usually gets out of the industry. They're saying, hey, I'm doing volume. I'm looking at potentially growing a team in the future and or just doing a ton of business on my own. I'm happy. I'm content. My broker takes care of me. I've got great relationships. I've got signage. I've got a lot of money invested into my business. Why the heck would I come on board with a company like EXP, this cloud brokerage that I know nothing about, other than I'm getting a bunch of agents bombarding me with information that I don't really cater to, care to hear? Yeah, definitely. So like you kind of alluded to, you know, I heard about this model back probably about a year and a half ago, and I didn't, it just simply wasn't presented right to me. So I turned a blind eye to it. And quite frankly, I actually, you know, publicly talked about my dislike for it because of how the agents approached me with it. And as soon as I met one or two people who was Connor, um, as soon as I met people that were leveraging it properly, I realized that this was the biggest opportunity ever in real estate and that I'd be doing a disservice to my own work ethic not to join. So I made the decision very quickly after meeting Connor and it's been one of the best decisions that I've ever made. So looking from a top producer perspective, because I was a top producer every single year, I've been at my boutique brokerage, there's a number of different things that really come into effect here with why this was such a great decision. The first one, and basically what I wanted to do is I looked at if I made the switch, how much can I get benefit from if I don't change what I'm doing? Because what a lot of people present is that you're going to somehow suddenly go from being a top producer, spending your time on buying and selling homes with buyers, sellers, investors, to suddenly just recruiting all day. And that couldn't be the furthest thing from the truth. I, to date, have one of the fastest growing teams in the company, and I've never spent time recruiting anybody. It's been through the law of attraction because I've given enough value through my content. So for me, I wanted to look at it and say, if I am just doing exactly what I'm doing today, is there a way that I can be getting compensated more than I already am? So at my previous brokerage, which is a great brokerage, I was best friends, still best friends with the CEO of that brokerage, I was treated very well, but only to the limit that they could treat me in the sense of, you know, I was on an 80-20 split. I had a slightly larger cap, but they gave me a lot of flexibility and they would give me almost anything that I wanted, but they couldn't give me three key things that EXP offered. So the first thing is every year I've been a top producer, as I alluded to, every year being a top producer, 
I just simply got a trophy at, that said my name on it and said, congrats, you know, number X agent in the company, which is cool. It's hanging on the wall over here, but I'd much rather get my $16,000 cap back every single year in the form of company stock in the fastest growing brokerage in North American history. So when I realized that I can get my $16,000 back instead of a trophy on the wall, that was kind of like red flag number one. Red flag number two is I do have a lot of connections with other agents because as somebody that is doing a lot of volume or is putting out content on social media or is just a networker in general, you do have a lot of conversations. So I realized that over the last couple of years, I've had a lot of agents reach out to me saying, Mike, how do I do more deals? How do I get better at this? How do I improve my business? And I didn't want to be a coach. So I didn't have a solution for them. Now I'm able to turn those people into my business partners by joining our team and giving them the best training and tools and resources for free because we built it out and helping them close more deals. And then the last thing is the opportunity to build wealth because looking um, kind of, I had this big come to Jesus with myself at the end of last year where I said, okay, we're rolling into 2020. We want to make this the best year of our lives. What can I do differently? If I stay at my boutique brokerage, the only thing I can really do is try and do a few more deals, which I guess is cool. Going from 42 deals, maybe to 50 deals is, is kind of cool, but I kind of lost my passion because I realized that the next year is just going to be a couple more deals. And after that, it's just a couple more deals and it's a never ending rat race. And the problem with that is that once you step outside of that mentality as a top producer, if you stop putting in those 80 hour work weeks, that 300, 400, 500 million dollars per year suddenly gets cut drastically. So you end up becoming a slave to the system and an employee of real estate. You don't own your business because when you step away, you're not making income. And I know a lot of people, including myself, got into real estate to create a lifestyle. And lifestyle to me is not going on vacation and losing out on deals. Lifestyle to me isn't working every day of my life for 80 hours a week. And then suddenly if I decide to dial it back because I want to have a family or have kids or whatever and lose my income, that's not lifestyle to me. So the fact that if you look at the wealth quadrant, which has duplication, multiple streams of income, passive income and equity ownership, this brokerage has all four, which is the opportunity to build wealth. Every other traditional brick and mortar real estate business has zero. So when I looked at that, I said, okay, I'm being treated extremely well. I'm best friends with this brokerage, but the next chapter, I need it to be bigger. And this was just a way for me to do exactly what I'm doing, helping buyers, helping sellers, but getting compensated more for my effort. So a lot of agents are thinking, oh my gosh, you have to spend all this time recruiting. I know agents that have never recruited an agent in their life, but they've got multiple seven figures in stock ownership through the revenue or through the stock equity program in ownership in the company, which is growing. They're getting their $16,000 cap back every single year, which is incredible. And they have the ability to scale and build wealth. And I think that's what really tipped me over the edge is realizing that they're winning for a reason. It, if this didn't work, it wouldn't be the fastest growing brokerage ever in North American history. Absolutely, Mike. And I appreciate the, uh, the answer there. It's one of those things where, you know, we sign up for this crazy game of entrepreneurship, you know, and once we get into business, once we get past that certain point, that certain hurdle, that certain speed bump where we figured out how to make consistent income month in month out, we get off the commission roller coaster and we're figuring out, figuring out basically how to maintain our business what happens when we get to the point in our career where we actually want to retire? You know, you get to the point in some of our mentors that we have in business say, you know, the top performers, the entire career is a sprint. It's not just the point in time that is a sprint at the beginning of the career. So you get these folks that are working hard, these top performers that are working into their 70s, sometimes into their 80s in the business because they've worked so hard to maintain the business and to maintain the reputation and to provide that world-class client experience that they never had the time to look at investments. They never had the time to build that real estate portfolio personally. So if you could get into talking about some of the things that EXP is doing to allow its agents to produce wealth and produce these different income streams, that I think that'd be really helpful for some agents that are taking a look as well. Yeah, definitely. So with EXP, you've got three income streams, right? So you've obviously got the traditional commission, 
but then you've got stock awards through the equity program and then you've got the revenue share through helping grow the, the company so this is what a lot of people say they say oh my god exp is a pyramid scheme oh my god you know it's a network marketing system let's look at a traditional brokerage you've got a broker owner at the top you've got team leaders under the broker you've got agents under the team leader and those agents are bringing agents to that team it's a four-tier system we just happen to be on a seven tier system where those agents that are helping grow that team actually get compensated through monthly revenue share. So if you want to go ahead and say that it's some pyramid scheme, you're just upset that you're losing because this model is proven to work. So I love the fact that we get to help grow the company. So traditionally with most brokerages, they've either got two things. They either have the broker reaching out to agents saying, Hey, come join this brokerage. It's so great because of X, Y, and Z, or they hire six figure corporate recruiters that reach out to agents and say, Hey, come join this brokerage. This is why it's so great. But with us, we end up growing through agent to agent interaction. And in doing so we get compensated for it. So I know a lot of brokerages that have small compensation plans, maybe $500 for bringing an agent to the brokerage or whatever. We just get it monthly for years on end and it duplicates. So I think this is a really exciting opportunity that a lot of people are overlooking because they're looking from the wrong angle versus what most people are doing in general. So we've got the revenue share, which is extremely powerful, similar to the Keller Williams system of the profit share, except we're revenue share before expenses, not profit share after expenses. Now, in terms of helping grow their business, there's a couple of different things that I really want to tie into here, especially from a top producer's aspect, because as a top producer, you're always thinking, what's the next step? And traditionally, there's two next steps that you can do. Option number one is to start your own team. Option number two is to break off and start your own brokerage. When you start your own team with the traditional brick and mortar brokerages, there's a couple problems with that. Number one, you have to do an upfront investment in order to get all the systems in place. And you often have to pay for leads for your agents and you have to end up getting an additional split. The problem with that is that you're going to spend the next one to two years grooming these agents up to be producers only to have them leave to a company like eXp or a different real estate brokerage after you just invested your time, attention, energy, and money into those agents. Option number two is you start a brokerage, which is a massive upfront cost. You become adult daycare because you're dealing with everything that agents do, risk, liability, compliance, marketing, training, leads, everything you have to deal with. With eXp, it's a bolt-on system that allows you, let's look from a team leader perspective first. You get to scale a team, plug into a system that has everything set up for you from KB Core's lead generation website CRM. You get the opportunity to build your team, not just locally, but globally. And you have the ability to duplicate through the revenue share platform based on your efforts. And usually as a top producer, you're going to get your cap back from a broker's perspective. You've already had that conversation with Connor about the fact that this basically alleviates all of the time sucking efforts that you have to do as a broker, but it gives you all the benefits of being a broker through this system. So I think a lot of people are looking from an ego perspective because the only reason why you would want to start your own rainmaker team locally or start your own brokerage is because you want to be the man of the town. You want your name to be everywhere. You want everybody to recognize you. You want to be the top dog that people are looking up to. But the thing is, is if you remove that ego from a second and look unbiasedly by removing emotion and putting the numbers side by side, the risk, the liability, the upfront cost, the headaches versus the opportunity with bolting on a system to your business. This is why a lot of people are either having the biggest decision that's changing their life or missing out on it. And I think that's something that a lot of people needed to take into consideration is you can be the man of the town. We both know Pat Hayes, who's definitely the man of his town. He's way bigger as a well-known name than his top producers in his city because he's got 2,300 agents across North America. Anybody can do that. It's much harder to do it the way that requires a ton of upfront capital. Absolutely, Mike. And then to touch on the cap, touch on the icon program for a top producer. So we know stories that come from, you know, some of our mentors in upline like Pat Hayes, who are talking about top producing agents that he's had conversations with that literally overnight, simply by switching their brokerage, 
have created equity and have created wealth by doing no more work, by doing the same number of transactions per year, but now simply getting that $16,000 cap back in stock, which has accrued over time. And of course, we can't tell people that the stock is going to go up, down, sideways, left, right, or diagonal. But if you could touch a little bit more on the ICON program, I think that'd be really helpful as well. Yeah, definitely. So the ICOM program is a lost leader program that the company introduced in 2015, which ended up tripling the agent count in one year into 2016. So what the ICOM program is, is we're on an 80-20 split with a $16,000 cap. When you cap plus 20 additional transactions, you become what's called an ICON agent. When you become an ICON agent, you get certain awards, but you also get your $16,000 cap back in stock ownership in the company. So there are a number of agents that have been getting their $16,000 cap back for the last five years. And that's turned into multiple six figures, even multiple seven figures for some agents if they also leverage the other equity opportunities in EXP. So I think it's an incredible opportunity because it is a lost leader. The company is breaking even on that because it attracts talent to the company. But I think, again, it's looking back at as a top producer, you should be getting something in return for your effort. Number one, you're helping the brokerage make a lot of money. Number two, naturally, whether you're with eXp or any brokerage, a top producer helps attract agents to the company because people look and say, oh my God, I saw that guy on the billboard or the bus bench or I've heard his name. I want to be where he is. It's just we are now compensating in a way that's incomparable with any other brokerage available to date. Absolutely. And then, so Mike, for a top producer, let's say I'm with, um, you know, insert name here, Keller Williams Remax, you know, Dixon Realty, you name it. And I've spent a lot of money on signs. I've put a lot of CapEx into basically my branding. You know, I've done signs and different things on buses and all that, but none of that is right now money. That's all in the past. But what I do have is an inventory of signs and different things that, of course, now I would have to transition over to get EXP branding. Can you talk to me a little bit about why it might make sense for me to just make the switch right now? Yeah, definitely. You know, this, it's a very easy conversation and we've actually, because of my marketing agency, we've rebranded a number of agents that come over and want very custom stuff. They don't necessarily love, and neither do I, I don't love the kind of orange and, and uh, blue branding of EXP, but there's some very creative things we can do in order to make the branding very sexy. So there's a lot of agents that we rebrand, but also it's looking at the opportunity cost. It's, it's saying, okay, let's say a rebrand is going to cost you $1,500 or $2,000 to reface your signs. You don't need new signs. You just have to reface them with your marketing, your business cards. It's just a matter of doing a couple minute things. But the thing is, is if you get hung up on that and you're missing out on two additional income streams, that's making people a life-changing decision, being able to retire their spouses from corporate America, being able to build flexibility, your opportunity cost is wrong. And what happens is a lot of agents, let alone entrepreneurs in general, is they're always focused on the now and they're always focused on how much are they losing today. They're not looking at how much they're gaining next year, two years, three years, four years, five years from now. So I think a lot of people need to take a step back. And sometimes, as we like to say, you have to slow down before you speed up. You need to take a step back, maybe slow down for a second in terms of taking a month to rework some things, but then your ability to explode and build massive momentum after that is going to completely change the course of your real estate business. So I think it's a matter of the delayed gratification, but also looking at the long-term vision. Would I rather spend $2,000 right now on rebranding my business or would I rather have the ability to lead the business and still make multiple five, six figures a month in the future because of this model. So if you look at it, that's such a minute aspect of it that if you get hung up on it, you're likely gonna fail in real estate anyway. Yeah, certainly. And to segue a little bit here, so Mike, we've all got friends in different industries, right? And as we get a little bit older, we start to see friends in different industries that are either getting traction, they're in a business that is allowing them to build and grow upon work that they've done in the past or not. And it's a year in, year out, constant rat race. You know, you're not getting traction. You're slipping all over the place. Sometimes you have a great year. Sometimes you have a poor year. A lot of my friends are in the insurance industry. They've always tried to basically drip on me as far as why the residual income is something that is so powerful and why it's never existed in an industry like real estate. The opportunity right now with EXP to create residual wealth and wealth in general has never presented itself before like it does right now. 
So I know that you have a pretty powerful personal story as far as if you would have joined about a year to a year and a half ago, what things would look like for you now. But I wanted you to touch a little bit on somebody that's maybe on the fence. They've been looking at EXP. They've been sitting on their hands, kind of deferring the decision to a future point in time. And I want to talk to you a little bit about what happens if somebody comes on board and they don't like it, but also what the opportunity and the opportunity cost of their time could be if they make the decision to just give us a try now, as opposed to maybe waiting another year. Yeah, definitely. It's a great question. And, you know, the unfortunate reality for me is that over the last year and a half, I've been approached by the wrong people. And unfortunately, the wrong people are some of the top people on YouTube. And a lot of people are looking up to them for resources. But the thing is, is just because somebody has influence or a big following doesn't mean they understand from an entrepreneur's perspective how to properly leverage a model. Two different things. It can be very easy to grow a big social media following. There's a couple agents that have large followings on YouTube and they do less than five deals a year, but they've got 45,000 subscribers. It, there's no correlation between your following and your influence. But what happened is I had these agents reach out to me and say, Mike, you know, come join. It's going to be so great. And I missed out on the opportunity because nobody painted a picture of what they could do for me. It was more what I could do for them. So now that I understand what we can do for agents to help them sell more houses, help more buyers, help more investors and build a revenue share team. I made the mistake of waiting a year and a half just because I didn't have the right people. And by waiting a year and a half, I did the calculation and excluding revenue share entirely, excluding recruiting, zero agent interaction, just looking at the cap, the split and the equity awards with the stock program, I'd be well over a million dollars wealthier today if I joined a year and a half ago based on my production. So that's a tough pill to swallow and it's definitely something that grinds my gears, but that's why I made the decision now because that opportunity still presents itself. There's a lot of people at EXP that are at the top of the company that are projecting that it's going to hit at some point in the next five years, fifth or 400,000 agents. We're at 330,000 right now. That's a massive gap. That's a four, uh, 370,000 agent gap. So your ability to leverage this in the beginning is incredible. So it's like getting on YouTube back in 2012. Those people have massive channels now because they got in early and leveraged the upswing. It's the same opportunity here by getting in early to a model that's proven to work and bolting it onto your business. So it, it, you know, for agents that are looking to make a decision, here's the exact decision that I had last September when I first opened up the conversation about joining EXP. I've got two options. I don't join or I join. If I don't join, there's a couple of things that are going to happen. Number one, I'm going to repeat the same thing every single year and be tied to my local market. And if I see my business partner, Connor, build a multiple six figure <laughs> yeah. a year revenue share program, yep. knowing yep. that I've got the same work ethic as him, I'm going to be pissed. Or my option is to join, give it a shot and play it and leverage this for my business. Because what I've quickly seen after joining is that I do a better lead generation. I do make more per transaction and I'm helping grow the company, which is incredibly inspiring because I get to take my knowledge, skills, and resources and help other agents scale their business. So one of the things that you need to know is any brokerage in Calgary would have me back. If this didn't work out and I didn't like it, I could leave tomorrow and any brokerage in Calgary would have me back gladly because I was a top producer making them a lot of money. The opportunity is that it's a time sensitive opportunity. And if you don't join every single month that you wait, agents who are your friends, your colleagues, your network partners are joining other people's teams. And that sucks. So if you make the decision to make it join, you ultimately have ability to capitalize on that. But every month you wait is a missed opportunity. So it's better to get in, try it. And if for some reason it doesn't live up to your expectations, you can leave, go back to your brokerage, you own your database, you own everything. But if you miss on that opportunity, you're going to see somebody in your market every single time it happens, build a massive business and you're stuck in the trenches every single week, weeks on end, trying to do your deals versus the agent in your city that blew it up that's now financially free. And there are so many people out there that are still skeptics. And they're looking at that, you know, there are a lot of business mentors out there that say, hey, the ability to basically identify trends and to jump on 
that curve before you hit that exponential hockey stick part of it where it's on the rise. Okay, so we're in early. Eventually, we're going to be approaching 400,000 agents. So if an agent were to come on board right now, can you talk a little bit about, you know, if I'm talking to an agent who is a skeptic and says, hey, the cloud-based brokerages are not going to be the norm forever, and especially a company like eXp, the volatility of the stock, you know, just everything that's going on. Can you talk a little bit about Verbella? Can you talk a little bit about just the proven concept now with eXp, with this being a company that now, being the fastest growing brokerage in North America, is going global, it's proven, and things are looking very good as far as what the long-term opportunity might be with this company based on some of the opportunities that our leadership is creating. Yeah, definitely. So for people that are skeptics, like let's look at why the why eXp was founded. eXp was founded in 2009 by Glenn Sanford, who is a top 50 KW agent for the sole purpose of staying profitable in tough markets. So they dropped overhead drastically by going cloud-based. They grow through agent-to-agent -agent interaction, so they don't pay corporate recruiters. And everything through the cloud is a time-saving and money-saving opportunity. So if any brokerage was to go belly up, it would not be one that has the lowest overhead of brokerages out there. And also from a volatility perspective of the stock, there's a couple different angles to look at this. Number one, you know, our stock right now is trading at about two times Realogy, who's been in the business far longer. But I have two perspectives here. Number one, you're getting the stock for free. So if it goes up, down, diagonal, horizontal, I don't really care. I got it for free, right? So, you know, even if I made $1 over it over the next five years, it's still a dollar versus nothing. But we've seen what's happened with the stock and why it's exploding, not only because of the agent growth and the expansion across different countries, but also the fact that, as you alluded to, our cloud-based software is Verbella. Now, we were previously licensing Verbella, and then we acquired it last year. Verbella, this cloud-based system that agents and other brokerages are laughing at, are viewed by entrepreneurs around the world, from Amazon to some of the biggest multi-billion dollar companies, as the future of the corporate world. So the people that are not jealous, looking at it unbiasedly, are seeing that this is a way of the future. And these companies now have the opportunity to license our cloud-based software outside of real estate, which is directly tied to our stock. And that can paint an interesting picture because traditionally with the only two publicly traded companies, Realogy and Remax, they're capped by the real estate industry. So once they reach a certain peak within real estate, they're done. But we have the real estate industry growing through tech. So when we go to new markets, new countries, we don't have to set up brick and mortar franchises so we can scale quicker, but also companies outside of us, outside of the industry as a whole can license our software, which again, directly affects our stock. So I think it's an incredible opportunity. I think there's going to be a lot of people that are going to miss the boat because of their own ego and their own unwillingness to come in with an open mind to explore a proven model that works. And as I like to say to entrepreneurs, and I said this across every industry is that one of the cardinal rules of being an entrepreneur is to look unbiasedly at opportunities that are proven to work. Now, whether or not you join or take the opportunity is completely up to you, but you have to look at it with somebody that properly understands it. And what's happening right now is two things. Agents are either taking a blind eye to it and not looking at it at all, or they're talking to the wrong people that are sending them some silly BS presentation saying, here's what our model is. And that couldn't be further from the truth. So I think a lot of people need to come in with an open mind, talk to the right people like yourself, and start exploring how this can completely change the course of their life for the better. Yeah, thank you, Mike. And in closing, one of the things I wanna to touch on here is how we are doing things differently. You know, we've created an incredible partnership between the mentorship that you and Connor, the founding members of the Wolfpack have provided with me being a founding member of the Wolfpack now and helping to grow this, this organization, if you will, this team underneath the EXP umbrella. I'd love to touch on what we're doing differently. You know, working directly with you, you've obviously built a reputation about taking on multi-million dollar listings. Since I've started to implement some of the strategies that I've taken directly from you and Connor with YouTube, I'm now sitting at a table competing for what will be a $25 million listing, along with having my phone ring anywhere between about two and six times per day with inbound leads from attraction marketing tactics and strategies that I've learned as a direct result of being a part of this particular group. What we're providing our agents is unprecedented. It's unsurpassed by anything that's being offered by anybody out there. And if you can just dive into a little bit about what has been built by yourself and Connor and what agents can anticipate as coming into this team, I think that'd be awesome. 
Yeah, definitely. So, you know, kind of reflecting on when I was making the decision to join, one of the biggest things that I said to Connor is that if I'm actually going to leave this boutique brokerage where I'm treated like a golden child, if I'm going to leave here, I need to create something so powerful with you that when agents are looking at the value we provide versus 100% of the other teams at eXp, it's a no brainer of where they need to go. So what happens now is because eXp is growing so fast, everybody can offer eXp. Now, whether or not they explain it properly is completely up to them, but everybody has the opportunity to offer eXp. So I said, what can we do above and beyond eXp in order to help agents close more deals and scale their revenue share team? So what we did is took all of our best social media training from the highest converting Facebook lead generation ads to how to build your business on Instagram to attract local clients and become top of mind, to how to instantly rank your YouTube videos on the, the internet and start to attract leads, like you said, around the clock 24 seven, as well as how to build a brand properly. So what we did is packaged all of our best practices and built it out in a duplicatable way so that not only do we give these to all of our agents for free, but we give it to people seven tiers deep. So if you come on and join us, then you now get to offer all of that to your seven agents that are down below you. So the seven tiers. So ultimately, I think this is powerful because we're helping agents build a powerful brand have best social media practices and scale their business the modern way that otherwise they don't have the opportunity to. Because unfortunately for the other people that are large on YouTube, all they have to offer is their influence. The problem with that is their influence is never going to help an agent attract a buyer or attract a seller. They have no idea who these agents are. They're from different markets. So what we said is how can we arm the agents with tools that are going to help them in their market close more deals, become icon agents, get their cap back, help them build true wealth. And because of the quality of work that we're helping agents with, they're going to attract agents who want similar quality and now they're able to build the revenue share team. So it's all about giving people the best leading edge practices for free as a value add understanding that if we all use these strategies, we all win. There's no longer jealousy. There's no longer you know, keeping it to myself because I want to benefit the most from it. If I share it, everybody wins. And because we're working as a team and we're all together, it paints a really interesting picture that now we're all running hard and you've got, you know, hundreds of people in our group that are now leveraging the best social media strategies, all scaling together, attracting clients, attracting agents. So I think it's exciting to see that when people are stacking what we provide with the funnels, the training, the courses, the masterminds and everything else, versus what other agents are providing at other teams at eXp, which is simply, I'll talk to you for an hour, maybe per week, it becomes really exciting. And I love the fact that every week I'm coming up with new things to give to our team for free, because it keeps them excited, it keeps us building momentum, and it separates us from the pack. Yeah, absolutely, Mike. And that's something that I felt just, you know, coming on and being a part of this team as well. And I know that that'll continue to be a feeling on this team is almost a sense of family. And yeah, working with the wolf pack thus far and just seeing the resources that have been provided to the founding members thus far and what will continue to be provided for the agents that continue to join you know with resources like getting help from folks like myself and being a part of the team it's just going to continue to grow and one of the main differentiators with that is we're vested in the success of those that come on board we're not just trying to build that first tier downline and then you know, not help those folks succeed. So being vested in the success of the agents that come on board, I think is something that's drastically going to set this team apart from anybody else in the company. Um, thank you, Mike. That was incredibly helpful. I know you provided a ton of value, so I appreciate you being on here. Um, for anybody who is on, I want you to keep in mind that if you can remove the emotion from the decision, when we get down to a numbers conversation, and Mike and I, my partner Connor and I, Pat, Hayes, and a bunch of other successful people in the company, if we can scribble some numbers on paper, it's always, in my humble opinion, going to make sense for you to at least take a serious look at this opportunity. So if you want to schedule a one-on-one -on -one conversation, Mike and I are doing those all the time. There's going to be a link below. You can go ahead and schedule a call. Make sure to click. We'll talk to you soon. And thanks for jumping on.